Alright, what is up my dudes? This is Divine Plays and uh Welcome back to another episode of J Star's Victory Versus. So um The tournament has just been, I guess, officially announced or started. So um Yeah. So now we're our mission right now is to collect these uh hero emblems, is what they said. But uh before we do that I'm gonna go and uh, do these sub quests real quick. <laughs> just to see, you know, just to get everything out of this. Ah, you're here. Here for training, are you? I heard this mysterious voice a little while ago. <coughs> you see. So, um, as, uh, as you guys can see, I'm kind of like bobbing my head back and forth like this. Uh, it's because uh, I have my camera in front of my uh, in front of the screen because uh, again I don't know how to I don't yeah know how to properly record the game audio so um, I'm kind of just I just stuck my camera like right here so that you know the the sound can come from both sides uh, so if you guys see me doing this a lot or if you guys see me doing this at all it's because I'm trying to read the dialogue <laughs> so uh, yeah now that that's out of the way. It is said that if you should show up here, I should ask you if you wanted to do some training. Sure, let's get some uh, training in. Are you going to help us train, Master Roshi? It's been a while. Now this is exciting. Goku, I have nothing left to teach you. You'll be facing opponents prepared by the mysterious voice. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to try fighting you again. What? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> a master and his disciple. What a great sight. Couldn't see that. You said the mysterious voice has prepared us opponents. I wonder who they are. <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, then. It's time for training to begin. Your opponent's not here, though. No, he's waiting for you in the Hidden Leaf Village. Now go. Be on your way. Alright. So I'm assuming it's the... I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this, but on the map down on the right, there's an X on the on the spot up here. So I'm assuming that's where I need to go for this uh, subquest. Oh, well, hello! We're here. Time to train. Where are our opponents? Oh, there they are. Okay, let's get this started. Let's go. Oh, oh wrong button. Come here, you escape. No! Ah! Oh. I'm supposed to be the one beating the crap out of you. No! Help me! Okay, that's right. I forgot how to I forgot how to block. Help me, help me, huh? Alright, come here, you see. Bring it. Bring it, you skate. Oh. Oh, wrong button again. Come here, come here. Oh, I got hit. Ah, oh, come on. I still want to see what that does. Come here, come here. Oh. Let's do this. Oh, get him. We don't get to see what you're doing, but... Oh! Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn! Me too, me too! Spirit Ball! Oh, you dead! Oh, Super Saiyan! Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Go 
this way. Come here, Yusuke. I'm gonna beat the freaking crap out of you. Come here, come here. Ah. Oh, I got shot in the face. Oh, that was a waste. Yeah, take that. <laughs> I can't remember how to charge. <laughs> oh, punch. Come here, come here. Oh, I missed. You can't dodge me. Too easy. I should probably look up how to, how to charge though. I kind of forgot how to. Okay, now there's another sub quest over here. So I'm, let's go check this out. Oh, Toriko. Hey, Komatsu. What's wrong? Uh, something happened? Yeah. This weird monster was here earlier. Sunny and I fought it off, but I can't believe I had to touch such an icky monster. Why do I have to deal with such beasts? Or with these beasts, I think is what it said. It was a weird monster. It had this big afro, and it could control its nose hairs. It's no ha nose hair. An afro, nose hair. I've never heard of anyone like that before. After we fought it off, it started heading toward Alabasta. Such a beast cannot be allowed to cause any more harm or any more chaos. I kind of just assumed it said harm. That's why we've come to you, Toriko. You want me to get rid of it? But isn't this thing a human? I think, but you're the only one we can ask, Toriko. Uh, please, sir. Can't you at least keep an eye on it? I guess. I can't turn down a request from you guys. All right, I'll do it. Woohoo! I knew you could... I knew you would, Toriko. Sorry to bother you, Toriko, but thanks. Just leave it to me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just straight up smacked my tripod. <laughs> okay, so the, the main mission's right here. But our subquest is down here. So I think I'm going to go do the subquest real quick. Okay, we're here. But where are we exactly? Toriko, someone's coming this way. That afro, that nose hair, it has to be him. It's coming, get ready everyone. Participants in the jump battle tournament. That is a virtual enemy created by me. However, the personality of the original was too much and the copy's data has now run wild. I'm sorry, but I'll need you to take care of him. Don't you worry about a thing. We freaking got this. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go, Bo Bo Bo. Oh, mom, buddy. Come here. A little ballerina on me. I kick you in the botox then. You got nothing. All right, go get him. Um, real quick, I wanna, I wanna figure out how to uh, charge. Stamina charge. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, now we learn. Oh, <laughs> Super Saiyan, what? Oh, you ain't got nothing. Now you're going to lose. Now you're going to lose. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Super Saiyan, boy. How? Oh, oh, stop hitting me. <laughs> that didn't turn Super Saiyan to get hit. Help me, help me. Ah. Oh, 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 what a... 
what is he shooting me with? Alright, let's just charge up a bit. Oh! Where is he? Alright, come here, bo bo bo. I wasn't done with my combo yet, but can I go to the same three? All right, I gotta wait for him to get up. All right, oh, we power down, okay, as Goku always does, you know. Take it in. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm ready for another one. I'm ready for another one, baby. Let's freaking do this. And now uh, he's blocking. How much longer can you block for? We are the champions, my friend. Now we're going to go to on... Uh, uh, Go to on. Go on to the next, uh, or I guess the mi the main mission now. Hello, we're here. Come on. There's something I wanted to ask. Do you know how to get into the sanguine sans sanguine sanguine? We need to find out. I see. So that's the problem. To enter the sanguine sang sang I'm gonna call it the sanguine, or or a sanguine. Sanguine Sands, <laughs> you need to upgrade your ship's equipment. As it is now, your ship can only travel the sea. Uh -huh. eh, of course, it's a ship. That's where you're wrong. If you have the propeller feathers, it will float in the air, allowing you to go even over land. Incredible. Are you serious? That's awesome. If you're looking for the propeller feather, you may have luck in, the, in Penguin Village. There you will find... A self-styled genius scientist. He might know something that could help you. Yeah, help you. Why don't you check it out? Uh, Penguin Village. Where is that? Uh, I know where it is. I've been there before. I remember some weird old dude living there. Uh, really? Okay, let's get going. You lead the way, Goku. Penguin Village. It is north. So this is Penguin Village. Uh, Hey, it's Oracle. Are the propeller feathers really here? Could they actually be in a place like this? Yes, they are. You must be looking for the emblem. Oh, cool. A flying talking baby. Huh? I think I've seen you somewhere before. Am I just imagining things? It's a little baby. Nice to meet you. I'm Turbo Nori Norimaki. My daddy has the propeller feathers. Daddy, we have customers. Okay, that's probably annoying. <laughs> I'm amazed you've come here. My name is Senbei or Senbei or Senbei Norimaki, the brilliant scientist. You fulfilled the requirements to get the propeller feathers just by stepping foot on this island. Congratulations! You can count on my genius to get you the feathers. So you just sit back and relax. Let's get this thing. Let's let's get this thing, Turbokun. Okay, Daddy. Wait for just a minute. You got nine propeller feathers. Yay! Oh my head. Ship construction. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, on the seas near the Sanguine Sands, you can go. What are you doing, Jintoki? Or Gintoki? However, say that name. Hurry up and find Luffy. Uh, you keep telling me that, but we don't have the first clue as to where he is. If you want to meet him that badly, then why don't you help out? I don't need to do a thing. <laughs> and the reason is simple, because I'm beautiful. <laughs> Look down on me any harder and you'll be staring at your neck. 
In any case, hurry up and find Luffy. Aren't you a Yorozuya? Then do your job. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Sheesh, this lady is the most selfish woman I've ever met. I feel for any guys that fall for her. Anyway, I need to rush through this job so I can get away from this lady. Jintoki or Gintoki, how, how do you guys say that name? I actually don't know. I never watched the anime. If you have time to waste sitting there like that, then go find Luffy and... Are you getting in the way of my reunion with Luffy? Unforgivable. Unforgivable. <laughs> Gintoki. I'm gonna I'm say Jintoki just because it sounds right to me. Jintoki, uh, knock him into the sea. Wait, me? Do you ever take care of your own business? Uh, well, considering who I'm talking to... What was your name again? Jet Coaster? Jonathan Joestar. Well, whatever it is. If you want an opponent, you've got one. Now bring it on. Thanks. Alright, I hope you're ready. Okay. So I guess we're playing as Jintoki? Okay, so the only thing I know about Jintoki is that there's a, they make a lot of references re references to like a, tons of different animes. I know Dragon Ball was one of them. Cause I think I think uh, he does the Kamehameha in uh, one of the episodes. Like he's trying to do it. I think I, don't know, I just saw a small clip of it be like beforehand. All right, let's go. <laughs> Right, come here, Jonathan. Beat you with What? Oh, I missed. Oh. Wait, is that it? It kind of sounds like it. Yeah, it is it. <laughs> oh my god. Kamehameha. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Oh, I missed it. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I could have done a combo. Uh, hey, get away from me, please. Oh, oh! Come here, help me or not. Oh, all right. Wait. Why is why is that showing up? Is that like some kind of credit, or is this like for his own? What? <laughs> what is going on? It almost looked like I ran him over. <laughs> that was loud. Not sure if you guys can hear that. <laughs> so, happy now? To be honest, I didn't expect to lose. I need to keep training. You just chose to fight the wrong guy. Don't worry about it. I won't bother you any longer. Allow me to continue my training elsewhere. You can go. Are you done here? Now get off my boat. We need to find Luffy as soon as possible. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, I get it. Ugh, I hope we find him soon. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Finish checking the hover capabilities. Thanks for waiting. I was able to successfully install it. Great, thanks. Now we can enter the Sanguine Sands. Sanguine? I think it's Sanguine. I'm gonna say Sanguine. No, I don't think it'll be that simple. It seems there's only a few points we can enter from. Well, that's no good. How are we supposed to figure out what where those points are? Uh, why don't you try asking Yako from Yako Katsuragi's Supernatural Detective Agency? Yako Katsuragi? Is she really good or something? Yes, she's a very talented detective. I was thinking of asking her to find my sister, Arale, too. 
Is she missing? Indeed. I'm worried that Arale will be running out of energy ri uh, right about now. Oh. All right. I'll ask Yako if I if I meet her. All right. I'll ask Yako if I meet her. So where is she? Miss Yako's detective agency should be northwest of here. All right, thank. All right, thanks. Goku, Zebra, let's get a move on. Propeller fellers will allow you to ship. Will allow your, allow your ship to soar through the sky. Flying uses up your team's vigor. Make sure you don't run out. Running out of vigor will vigor will affect your ship's ability to fly, and will prevent you from fighting at full capacity as well. To see where your vigor, vigor can be restored, take a look at the map. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Now I'm afraid I'm behind on my rent, and I need to pay up before my landlady gets angry. Oh, okay, so, um, pretty much, I mean, it's just, uh, I, I just got done with the subquests, and, um, so we try, we're, we're trying to break through, uh, one of the sand barriers here, and, uh, so we get... We run into uh, Jintoki. So Goku's like, hey, who are you? And Jintoki is like, uh, something. Oh, I can't remember what he said. But this is literally just the third message after that. Uh, now I'm afraid... Yeah, I just, I just got done reading that. <laughs> oh, and Hancock's got something to tell you too. Wait, where's Hancock? Luffy! Luffy! Is Luffy here? What? When'd she get over there? What? Does she have some kind of accelerator installed? Like one of those, like one of the ones you turn on by clamping your teeth? Aww. Luffy. Or Luffy? The pirate with the straw hat? So. That's right. Straw hat Luffy. So where is he Aww. now? I haven't seen him since we parted ways at Korin's Tower. But he should be hard at work to enter the tournament too. Huh. You ignorant good-for-nothings. Find him. Leave your propeller feathers here and get going. Wow, this lady is super stuck up. She's even worse than Bulma the first time I met her. Hey, don't get cocky. Can I crush them, Toriko? That includes you over there. Come here, I'll crush you together. Me too? I don't have anything to do with this. I, I have a stomachache too. Come on, we haven't gotten all day. Hold on, you're really going to fight me too? Aw, oh, man. Still, I have to get rent money from somewhere. I guess I don't have a choice. Okay, so um, while doing the subquests, uh, one of them, we did get a new support character. We got Nero. Uh, not, I, don't, I actually don't know who the heck he is, but uh, yeah, we got Nero. I'm assuming maybe he's from the Seven Deadly Sins. I don't know, that's just a wild guess. Only because his I mean I'm only guessing because his attack, 777 or 777 Tools of Hell, Evil Blind. I'm just assuming. <laughs> Alright. Come help me how baby! Ran right into it. <laughs> oh again, baby! <laughs> What a stupid idiot. Ah, oh, she's so far away. I'm gonna just charge. Oh, or not. KO! Sorry, Hancock. You need to find Luffy on your own. <laughs> oh, maybe it's Gintoki. Oh, I'm gonna stick with Jintoki. Don't talk, Jintoki. That's enough groveling. We need to find Luffy. Let's go. Hey, hey. Fine, fine. I'm coming. I mean, I don't have a choice. I have to come with you. You know, you freaking matter what I want. Uh, now you lot, now, now you lot learn from me. Choose your friends carefully. Yeah, sorry, my dude. <laughs> So yeah, we were just about to break through here, and they caught up with us. Alright! Oh, looks like we made it through. That was nothing. The ship seems to be fine too. I bet we can survive just about any sandstorm. Eh, wouldn't put my money on that. 
Let's go ahead, recover a little bit. There is some, there's someone in the temple of Athena. Someone you know, Toriko? Yeah. Do you know this person, Zebra? Son Goku? They seem really happy to see you. Yeah. No, I don't think I've ever met this person. Hey, you there. Who are you? I actually have no idea who this is either. I'm Medaka Kurokami, president of Hakanawa, or Hak Hakaniwa's Student Council. I'd, I'd say I'm glad to see you, but I've been waiting for you, or uh, waiting for a while. Sorry, I'm butchering all these names, though, by the way. Right. And what does this council want with us? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, nothing to do with Hakaniwa Academy. Yeah, Hakaniwa Academy. I'm here at this tournament as an examiner. To put it simply, I hold one of the hero emblem fragments. <laughs> yeah. So if we beat you, we get to have it, eh? I like it when people think they can take me on. It makes for an interesting fight. It's tragic what happened to you, Zebra. You used to be such an honest young man. So kind. You were like an angel. I suppose it was just misfortune and a lack of love that made you into such a selfish, isolated person. But don't worry. I'm going to show you unconditional affection. I'll make sure you can never do anything evil again. I see you there, Vegeta. Vegeta? Hiding among the ruins. You're after the emblem fragment as well, aren't you? Hey, 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 Vegeta! So, um, if you guys don't know, I actually like Vegeta over Goku. So, I mean, hey, if I can use Vegeta over Goku, I, I'm all for that. <laughs> I thought I'd made, I thought I'd made myself invisible. Anyway, so what if I am after the fragment? Well, I want you to fight alongside me. That's what. Help me beat Toriko and Ko, and I'll give you that fragment. You used to be an angelic lit young man too. Maybe fighting with me will remind you of, of that. Did he? I mean, in Dragon Ball, did he? Was he ever a good person? I don't think so. I don't understand any of this. But you said that if we beat those guys, you'll give the fragment. You'll give me the fragment, right? In that case, I'll yes. help you. All right, no need for preliminaries. Let's just get down to it. Calm down, Zebra. Your strength alone won't count for much. I want you to demonstrate that you deserve the hero emblem. Show me the bonds that tie your team together. I'll allow your team to fight me as one. Is your world pedestrian? Is your world pedestrian? Is your world? Is your future a bore? Is your reality too frivolous? Don't worry. Just living your life can be dramatic. 24 hours, 365 days a year. I'm always accepting any challenges. But you have Vegeta! Wait, didn't you say you could allow my whole team to fight you? Yes. Spike punch, flying fork, flying leg knife. Um, I guess we're done here. Alright, Vegeta. Let's get this started. Oh! <laughs> let's get this started. Alright, Vegeta. It's me and you. Me and you, baby. Yeah, take that. Don't hit me! Come here, come here! Oh, oh, oh! Ouch! Oh! I'm coming for you! Oh, I missed. Come here, come here! Oh! Come here, come here! Alright, I need a charge. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Alright, I'm a coming for you. I'm a coming for you, Vegeta. Oh yeah. 
Back to Super Saiyan. Kamehameha! Ride there all day. Whoa, hey, oh, shoot your eyes. Well, you showed me how strong your bonds truly were. Take this with pride in your hearts. Hero fragment number one. So I'm assuming there's four or three. Because just by how big that metal piece, that fragment was. I was born to be of use to strangers, and you've brought peace to my heart. Take this emblem fragment and head to Korn's Tower. Your battle is not yet over. Proceed with your heads held high. <laughs> Well, well, we'll do that. Thanks. See you around. Oh, there's a side quest here. You showed me, you showed me uh, how strong you truly are. I'll give you a challenge that's right for, for your strength. Even you should find this trial a testing one. This challenge is simple. Get Miso Misogi, Misogi Kumagawa to join you. Alright. Watch out for Kumaga or Kumaga's Minus all fiction. All fiction is able to turn all of reality into nothingness. You can find Kumagawa in Alabasta, but he's not alone. He seems to be going around with another examiner, Koro Sensei. Not only is Kumagawa a skilled opponent, so is this Kuro Sensei or Koro Sensei character. Stay cautious. I give thanks to all things of the world, no matter my opponents. Uh, oh, opponents. <laughs> I honor my food by by never failing to pay my respects. Okay, just make sure that your strength doesn't get turned to nothing. Now go, be on your way. Uh, heal up a little bit. Or my vigor. I'm gonna cut through here. Oh, hey. <laughs> Kumagawa, they've arrived. I am the minus that crawls from chaos. Miso Misogi Kumagawa, pleased to meet you. You want me to join your team? Huh. That sounds neat, but I hate being told what to do by others. Especially if those orders come from Madaka. I'll pro I'd probably join you as an act of friendship if this, if this were weekly Shonen Jump. But unfortunately for you, I don't like being made to dance like someone's pet monkey. Yes, I thought you might say that. That's why I'm here. I see. You're a pretty tough teacher. Everyone, Kumagawa and I are about to attack you. If you can somehow manage to defeat us, Kumagawa will join you. I guess I wouldn't mind keeping you company. I want to see how you fight. You'd probably make a wonderful assassin. I'm quite sure of it. An assassin. That doesn't really interest me. By the way, what happens if we win? Hmm, indeed. Do you have any wishes, Kumagawa? A wish? Okay, then. I want all the girls, all the girls, all the girls in the world to just wear aprons with nothing else underneath. And I'd, oh, and I'd love to help make that a reality, Kumagawa, but that's not something you can get by winning this battle. You shouldn't provoke your enemies by kidding around like that. Eh, I don't think they'd get too worked up over a comment like that. Well, there's no way I could lose anyway. Let's just get this over with. Alright, so this video, this episode has been going on for quite a while. <laughs> so, uh, I don't want, if I do, I don't want to, like, I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and leave this battle... Uh, for the next episode, um, so yeah, we made uh, some some good progress. We finally got our first hero uh, fragment or hero emblem fragment, um, and I'm assuming there's maybe like two or three more that we need to get, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I've never, like I said at the in the first episode, I actually never finished this story, the the game. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.